Hi kids, in today's video we are going to learn mathematics chapter number 6 that is about ordering numbers. So when we say ordering numbers it means the logical arrangement of digits or counting numbers. So let's start with today's exercise. In this chapter we are going to learn two concepts of increasing numbers or you can say the increasing order of numbers. as well as the decreasing number or the decreasing order of numbers. So let's have a look of what these concepts are. The first part of this activity says write the numbers in increasing order. So kids when we say increasing order it means the numbers are going to start from the smaller ending at the greater ones. I hope you all remember the chapter number 4 video in which we covered the concept of smaller and greater numbers. So here we are going to practically apply that concept. When we say increasing order, we are supposed to start the order from the lowest or the smaller number ending with the greatest number. As you can see, here we are given some digits or numbers to be put into a logical order. The first example has been done for us. 3, 1, 5. So the increasing order would be starting from the lowest number. Amongst these three, the lowest one is 1. Then the bigger one is 3 and the biggest one is 5. So increasing means we start from the smaller, then great and then the greater ones. Let's solve the other two examples. 5, 9, 6. So when we logically count numbers from 1 to 9, we will find the increasing order. So let's start counting with me. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Among these three numbers, 5 is the lowest one, then after 5 comes 6 and the greater one is 9. So the increasing order would be 5, 6 and 9. Now let's move on to the next one. That says 4, 7, 2. Amongst these three numbers, the lowest or the smallest one is 2. Then comes 4 and then comes 7 in the counting. So we are going to write the increasing order like 2, 4, 7. Let's write over here. So we are all done with the increasing order of numbers. As you can see in this row, the smallest number is 5, 6 and the greater one is 9. Similarly, the last one, 2, 4 and 7. Let's move on to the next part of the same exercise which is about decreasing orders. Decreasing orders mean that we have to start from the greatest ending with the smallest or the lowest number. As you can see the first example has been done for us having numbers 4, 1, 2 amongst which 4 is the greatest one then 2 and then 1 is the smallest one. So this is how we logically put numbers in the decreasing order. Decreasing order starts with the greatest number. So let's find out greatest number in the second row which has 8, 9, 3. Amongst these three numbers the greatest one is 9 then 8 and the smallest one is 3. So we are going to write here 9, 8 and 3. Similarly, the last one has 6, 7 and 5. So for decreasing order, we are supposed to write the biggest or the greatest number at the beginning. So amongst these three, 7 is the greatest, then comes 6 and then comes 5 as the lowest or the smallest number. So here we are going to write 
7, 6 and 5. Okay kids, now let's have a quick recap of today's chapter number 6, which is about ordering numbers. In today's chapter number 6, we learned about two orders, increasing order and decreasing order. Increasing order is any logical arrangement of numbers starting from the smallest, ending at the greatest number. Whereas, decreasing order starts from the greatest number, ending at the lowest or the smallest number. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I'll be back with some more learning and fun-based activities and lectures. Till then, take care of yourselves. Bye.